It's Eric Packer, all the way from New Zealand, the naturopath. Thank you for coming back. We're talking about the gut and the brain and the regulation of metabolism and appetite. It's interesting when they did studies and they looked at different animals, you know, that had a damaged uh, part of the brain, the hypothalamus, the appetite regulation center. They found when that particular part of the brain was damaged through a disease process like a tumor or an accident, that the animal or the human uh, got to enormous proportions. So we know that the gut and the brain work together, but the brain seems to have more of a regulatory effect really on appetite control than the gut. The gut makes different types of chemicals, which again, uh, you know, are secreted. And the, the brain will pick up on these chemicals and start interpreting them and then tell the person to eat more or less food. So there's definitely a big interaction between gut and brain, but from research I've read more recently, the brain is one of the more important parts, really, of the regulatory aspects, you know, of the appetite. So, but when you've got a very healthy functioning gut and the microbiome is balanced, you tend to have a much better effect on being able to control satiety. So the brain and gut work together, obviously. So the brain talks to the stomach or to the intestine, and the intestine talks back. So both have to be in pretty tidy shape. So... But the, the bottom line is, if the bacteria are in place and at high level, they'll communicate most effectively with the brain, which in turn will shut off and tell the gut it doesn't need to eat any more food, particularly fats and well controlled through this neuronal regulation. So it all boils down again to a healthy microbiome. So the healthier the gut is, the better decisions the brain can make to decide whether you need to eat more or less food. I've always noticed that people who eat very poorly tend to eat increasingly poorly over time as they develop that really bad bi microbiome up, which again gives poor signals to the brain. So the person can be right in front of you there drinking Coca-Cola or eating loads of sugar and sometimes not even be aware of what they're doing because they are so entranced by this effect of the gut controlling the brain and then the brain again then telling the person what to do. So. Just bear that in mind. Every time you eat sweet stuff, especially a lot of refined sugar, over time you'll find it harder and harder to break away from sugar. It's almost like crack or like methamphetamine. Once you've sort of been sniffing around that stuff, you just can't get enough of it, can you? It's awful. So watch out. Sugar is highly addictive and it will change the way you think. Thanks for tuning in.